the relationship between the different outside factors and options contracts. So like we discussed yesterday, an options contract has a premium price and that premium price can be, move and fluctuate based off of multiple different things. And the Greeks is a big part of how an options premium price is priced, how an options contract is priced, I apologize. The first one that we're gonna go through is theta. So there's multiple ones, there's delta, gamma, rho, vega, and theta. Those are the top ones that you wanna pay attention to. And today we're gonna go ahead and go through theta. So what theta is, based Basically, it's a measure of an option's time decay. So what that means is how much or what rate the option is going to decline, the premium price is going to decline, lose its value towards that expiration date. So we talked about how every contract has an expiration date, every contract has a premium price. Based off of that, so theta measures time decay. So as that options contract approaches that expiration date, how much of its value is it losing every day that it approaches the expiration date and gets closer to that expiration date? So theta, there's a lot of different things that you should understand with theta. So one of them is longer term options contracts have a theta of almost zero because they don't lose value on a daily basis. So theta obviously is gonna increase closer to your expiration date. So that's why if you have a longer term option, theta is mostly gonna be right around that zero, if not zero, cause it's not gonna affect it as much until it gets really close to that expiration date.